Hello, today we are going to be looking at Daisy Tools again and we are going to be looking at adding and playing around with the attachments and armor values. So we're going to look at the vest test that we made uh, in the last tutorial. Uh, yep, I think we're in the right spot. Okay, so with this, this would normally be set at something like uh, damage 40. Okay. So to get these in the first place, obviously this is how you create your items. So you go to DZ, characters, uh, vests, save for this, plate carrier vest, copy from this class, down to the bottom. I'm going to leave that open because we're going to need that. Okay. So to change the damages and that, what you're going to want to do is come down to your global armor, this one here on your plate carrier vest, and this health from projectile will be bullet damage. So if you change that to 30, you've just doubled the damage of the ballistic vest that it will take from bullets. Okay. Your shock will normally be somewhere around either 15 or 30. I like to put it at 6. You can change your melee, infected and frag grenade health and damages as well. I personally doesn't deal with them. Um, so when it comes to actually playing around with the attachments and making the items have more attachments. So as you can see here, normally in your plate carrier vest you wouldn't see these two. This is what you would see. Holster, pouch, belt, left, right, vest, grenade A to D. What I've done is took these and I've put another two in called vest backpack and belt back. So belt back is actually the canteen for the belt and the vest backpack is actually the butt pack for the smash vest. Find these, you come into the same file that obviously our ballistic vest was in, go down the smash vest and find the attachments for the smash vest and you'll see that the vest butt pack is the only one that isn't the grenade. So that makes that the butt pack. You can also do the same with the belts, obviously. Um, pretty much anything. If you put shoulder, uh, change one of these to, I don't know, vest grenade to shoulder, however it's spelt, that will give you a gun slot. So it's really just about finding out what slots you want and where you want them. I don't really know many pants that have attachments, personally. I know the vests do and the belts do. Uh, you've also got patch, uh, the walkie talkie. Um, let's see if we can find shoulder in here. I, do, I can't even spell it. Boulder. No, that's not what we want. Salt bag. Anything that has an attachment slot. So, I don't know, in these bags we've got walkie talkie and chem light. So, if we take these, we would also have a walkie talkie and a chem light in the, slot, in the slots. So, that's how we pretty much play with the attachments. So, that's the attachments and the global armor. Um, you can also reduce, uh, increase, and decrease your global health, which is your over item's overall. Um, health before it starts deteriorating and showing damage you can increase your item cargo size so this is the size of the inventory inventory that you, the item has so four by four it would have eight slots four along four down if you change that to eight by eight that would have i believe 16 slots or something i don't i don't, don't really know i can't really work that out at the moment Item size is how much size the item has itself. So if you put that by one by one, this this will only take up one box. Item weight kind of says for itself, 7,000. It's going to make it really heavy. 
Okay. So that's pretty much how you play around with the configs. Um, if there's anything I've missed, please leave a comment. I will get back to it. And if comes, I, I, you can join my Discord and I can help out there. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, have a good day.